Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Date with Purpose. How are you all today? So glad that you are all here. We are a little early today. Normally we meet at 10 o'clock, but today we're meeting at 9, uh, only because I have a meeting that I have to get to, so I had to get on the road. But I did not want to not meet with you guys today because I absolutely love our time together. So I know we're a little earlier and maybe this is a little too early for some of you, um, but that's okay. You can watch it on the replay. Welcome to everyone who is listening on the podcast. So glad that you have joined as well. Today is an interesting morning. Good morning, everyone who is tuning in. Wow, early birds. I love it. <laughs> that's awesome. Hmm. My friend Willie is watching. Hello, Willie. I'm so glad you're here. I miss your face. Hello, Sarah. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, everyone. So, first of all, of course, the mug of the day is my absolute favorite Disney character. Tinkerbell is joining us this morning. It is freezing outside. What is the deal? It's almost May, or maybe it's May. I don't even know what day it is. No, we're still in April. <laughs> But we're so close and like what is the deal with the weather? Anyways, hot coffee to warm us up with Tinkerbell. Today on my way here to the office, I packed my lunch and I had a little container of fruit. And do you ever have those moments where you're like, you shouldn't do that. Oh, it'll be okay. Well, guess what? It wasn't okay. I packed the fruit in my bag and... The fruit has exploded all over. My Bible is soaking wet with fruit juice. My day timer is soaking wet with fruit juice. My notepad that I use for my sermons is soaking wet. And my other notepad. I can't even believe I did that. My knapsack is sopping wet with juice. Anyways. That's my dilemma for today. Just thought I would share that with you so that you all see how my morning is going already. Oh my gosh. Hello, Heather. Great to see you. Okay, we're going to get into the word today. And today I am actually going to share with you uh, a devotional that was one of my devotionals today. So um, actually last night because I read at night because I'm weird like that. I know most people are morning people and they do their devotions in the morning. Mm. I'm not that person. I need to read at night. So anyways, last night, I'm going to share with you my devotional for today because I thought it was so brilliant. And I've never thought of this before. And I, I just, again, love how the Word of God is always so, it's real and timely and always, always usable. You know what I mean? Like, think about how old the Bible is. And still, when we read the Word, we still always, it's fresh and new all the time. So um, in this devotional, um, they're talking about how Jesus, you know, how people would say things to Jesus and he would take those words and he would like get rid of them. So here's where I want to go to today. How many times have we had somebody say something to us, about us, whatever, and we literally, we take it on. Like we, you know, oh, your hair looks horrible today. Or what'd you do with your hair? And then our mind starts to think. Or... Um, you know, something about our clothes or like just some kind of a comment that we take upon us and we kind of like hold on to it and it becomes kind of like an insecurity for us, right? Two times, and I'm sure there's a whole lot more times, but just I'm just going to focus on these two times where Jesus literally took the negative words from somebody else and got rid of them. So think about the time when Jesus was washing the feet of his disciples and Peter was like, you're not washing my feet. And, and Jesus literally said, get behind me, Satan. Like he called out, this is what the plan is of God. This is what I need to do. And you are not going to tell me any different. So he literally spoke it out and said, get behind me, Satan. And then another time in Mark 5, where we see Jesus healing the little girl. Actually, she was dead. And in the story, we see that Jesus goes to the home and um, he says, well, she's not dead. And people literally start to laugh at him and tell him like, 
I mean, it's not written in the Bible, but we can kind of like read between the lines. Like, you are a whole lot of cray. <laughs> like, she is dead. She's got it. And Jesus is like, no, she's sleeping. And they're all laughing at him. And they're telling him, like, you're, you're crazy. This is not a thing. So Jesus literally told them when he went into the house, you guys, you need to stay outside. You are not going to be a part of seeing the miracle that is going to happen. And Jesus went inside the house. It says with only a few special, you know, people to be able to visibly see the miracle happen. The ones who were scoffing and laughing at him had to stay outside. What I love about this is in the devotional, Jesus is telling these people who are trying to put negative thoughts, trying to put um, words of insecurity or doubt into Jesus's mind, instead of Jesus kind of allowing those thoughts to get into his brain, he literally head on hit them and said, out of here, get out of here. You're not going to be a part of this. I think about the word of God that tells us to take every thought captive. And yes, that's every thought that we have on our own. But I also believe as I'm reading that, that we need to take every thought captive that comes into our brain through other people. Because don't other people just love to point out our faults, our wrongs, the things that we, like seriously. So we need to take every thought captive and any time that we have a negative thought or a negative word or some kind of doubt or some kind of, you know, anything that is spoken over us that is not of God, we cannot accept, we can't allow it in. We need to kick it out of the house like Jesus did with the people when he was about to do the miracle of raising the little girl from the dead. He didn't allow them in the house. Let's not allow the negative, the doubt, the awful thoughts, those kind of feelings, whatever. Let's not allow them in our house. Let's kick them out. I hope that this challenged you, encouraged you today. Man, when I read that last night, I was like, uh, as if I never realized that. I never thought of it in that kind of a context before. So I hope and pray that this encouraged you today. I know we're short today because I have to get on the road and get to a meeting, but I did not want to not be connected with you guys today. So thank you everyone for joining. Um, if you're just tuning in, please hang on. I'm going to post this and you can watch the replay. Thank you everyone for listening on Contagious Power um, YouTube channel as well as Coffee Date with Purpose podcast. Check it out. Okay, look forward to seeing you guys next Thursday at the normal time, 10 a.m. Have an amazing day, everyone. God bless. Hope you don't get any juice. Um, on your notebook today. <laughs> Bye.